For now, Team 12's Bram Resnick is already on the ground there at Joint Base Andrews, where Senator McCain's body was flown to and landed there just a little bit earlier tonight. Bram? That's right, Karibe. A Senator McCain's body flew in on the plane the jet used as Air Force Two, along with the McCain family. They landed about 90 minutes ago and then went off to a funeral home in Washington, D.C. I believe we have some pictures, some video of Cindy McCain at that funeral home with the hearse where her husband's casket will rest overnight. And then tomorrow morning, presumably at some time, it would move to the U.S. Capitol where it will lie in state in the rotunda all day. Now that military plane carried John McCain's casket as well as family. Governor Doug Ducey was along. Many of the senators who were at today's ceremony in Phoenix were also there. They were greeted by Defense Secretary James Mattis in place of President Donald Trump, who will not have a role in any of the proceedings over the next few days. Uh, we're showing you some video of a motorcade heading from Andrews to Washington on Friday. Oh. Now, McCain will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol on Saturday. Thousands will gather for memorial service at Washington's National Cathedral. Presidents Barack Obama and George W. Bush, who both wrecked McCain's dream of becoming president, will speak at the cathedral. Even in death, though, McCain is still speaking to Americans. By having President Bush and President Obama speak, uh, he is sending a signal of bipartisanship as well. There are values, there are issues, there are causes that rise above any one individual or any one political party. And that's what we need to unify behind as a country. John McCain's funeral service will be Sunday at his beloved Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. One note, John McCain's 106-year-old mother, Roberta, will be attending all three ceremonies in Washington and Annapolis over the next few days.